Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with braised red cabbage. That's right. I tried to think of some interesting, amusing angle for this video, and then I remembered there aren't any because it's braised red cabbage. So there's no opening humor. We're just going to get right into the recipe. And the first step here, we're going to use our head. No, head of cabbage. That wasn't a joke. Sorry, training a new sound guy. Anyway, we're going to take one small head of red cabbage, cut it in half carefully. All right, once you've done that, we're going to make a little angle cut at the bottom just to get the core out, to get those thick white kind of ribs trimmed out of there. See that? That's optional, but I like to do it. All right, once you've removed the core, you're going to flip that over to the flat cut side, and you're going to start cutting thin ribbons. Now, here's a case where size doesn't matter. It's being able to repeat the motion successfully. So you decide how thick to cut your ribbons. Just make sure you're repeating that same cut so it all cooks at the same rate. Very simple. Once your cabbage is prepped, we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to melt some butter in a skillet on medium heat. I'm going to dump in my cabbage and we're going to get to cooking this super easy, very beautiful, I believe, cabbage side dish. All right, so once the cabbage is safely in the skillet, we're going to season it with some salt. And by the way, all the ingredients in here are totally to taste. This is not a recipe you're going to be measuring stuff. You're going to toss stuff in and you're going to taste. But I'll explain more about that later. All right, so keep that in mind. So, so far we got salt. We're going to throw in a splash of water, a little bit of red wine, and a little bit of red wine vinegar. All right, so we got salty. We got some sour with the vinegars and wine. Now we got to have some sweet. So I'm going to put in a little bit of sugar. And really, that's all you need. All right, if you want to make this a little more complex, a little more complicated, you can definitely dice some onions or slice some onions and saute those in the butter before you add the cabbage. All right, if you want to start this with some bacon or pancetta, you know I'm down with that. But that's not what I was going for here. I wanted a very simple, quick, 15-minute vegetable side dish. So I did not include those extra ingredients, but you're more than welcome. The last ingredient I did include, a tiny pinch of caraway seeds. All right, not much, maybe seven, eight, nine seeds. All right, you can go a couple more seeds if you want. And if you don't have any caraway, maybe your neighbor has some rye bread, you could pick some off the crust. I'm sure they would let you do that. And then, this is so easy. I'm gonna keep that on medium heat. Maybe I'm gonna raise it up to medium high if I want it to cook a little quicker. And all we're doing is cooking out the liquid, and hopefully by the time the liquid evaporates, the cabbage is tender. So just keep cooking it, keep watching it, give it a stir every once in a while. You definitely want to keep it moving, especially if you're using a wide pan like this. And when it starts looking like that, you know you're close. All right. So once the liquid is gone, you got to make some decisions. I'm going to taste. I'm going to figure out, is it tender? If it is tender, it's done. Okay. If you taste it and it's not done, you want the cabbage to be more tender, add a splash of water and cook it a little longer. Very, very simple. All right, so you're the boss of your braising. If it's not done, add liquid, cook longer. If it is done, serve it. All right, so I'm gonna taste mine. It was perfect on the sweet and sour elements. It did need a little salt and pepper, so I added that, and I was pretty much ready to eat. And of course, above and beyond tasting for salt and pepper, if you want it a little sweeter, add some sugar, or maybe a drip or two of honey. All right, you want it a little more tangy, another little splash of red wine vinegar. So this is a dish that's very, very easy for you to adjust. And there we go. Beautiful braised red cabbage. Look at that color. It's magnificent. Is that magenta? It's not purple. It's not red. What is that? Somebody tell me that color. I'm terrible with colors. I only know like five colors. Okay, let me taste some of this. Just such a great, simple, fast side dish. A little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. Got that tiny, tiny hint of caraway. You actually can't taste caraway, but you know there's something in there and it interests you. And of course we do our fair share of pork main course entree recipes. So this would be a fantastic side dish for any of them. So I hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.